audio a great, great algorithm and Waves new clarity. What? You're joking! Hello, ladies and gents of the web. It's me, Paul Beck, in another video, starting with the audio news of the week, because I thought, hey, maybe the news of the audio world at the beginning of my uh, movies is kind of a cool idea. Yeah, there's one big news this week, and this is Cubase 12 is out, and I haven't tested it yet. It's not a news on my channel, but I promise you, Cubase 12 will appear on my channel. I will take a deeper look into it, because as you might know, I'm a fan of Steinberg's stuff. I'm a user of New Window platform, which is kind of very, very similar to, to Cubase. So yeah, that's gonna happen. Uh, one more news that's important for me, it's not this week's news, but it's a concern, I would say, is that Steinberg some time ago announced that they are dropping VST2 format entirely. They stopped licensing it and they're gonna stop supporting it in any way in any of their further DAW products. And I'm a heavy user of Universal Audio DSP hardware-based platform, as you might also know, and for some both software and hardware uh, reasons UAD offers only VST2 and that means that one day I'm gonna get into serious trouble but that's not the day and that's not the week the week is also the week that we started producing our audio libraries as I told you we're gonna do it it's our anti-war anti-crisis project and yes we are recording first of our new brand new Foley sound effects libraries for now we're gonna offer three of them in the very beginning and I'll tell you exactly what they are as soon as we finish, also soon, very soon, I'm gonna start doing the presets on my Profit 2 synthesizer to sell them directly to you. And one more thing is that Waves, Clarity VX and VX Pro voice denoising plugin is out. That seems also kind of massive, big news. And yeah, you know what I think about Waves stuff. I'm not a fan, just to say. And well, hmm. Is this the moment I should say sorry to Waves and start buying their products again? Because everybody around is crazy about this. They all say that this plugin is great and I should test it out. That's the moment. Let's do it. Okay, let's take a look at today's session. I've prepared for the purpose of testing our Clarity VX Pro plugin. Mm, well, I decided to make it kind of a battle, uh, and that's gonna be Clarity tested, uh, CVox by Universal Audio. This is a plugin I use a lot. It's made with cooperation with Cedar Audio. Actually, it is a Cedar Audio algorithm, and Cedar, if you didn't know, are the masters mm, of denoising and sound rest restoration. They They are way, way, beyond any competition until now, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna also tax, uh, test uh, RX9 uh, voice denoiser. <clears throat> Looks like this, many of you know it, kind of a common standard tool, I would say. And as for the recording itself, I just took my lavalier mic and I did small additional recording, but I decided to make it more noisy than it <laughs> normally is. So I added some kind of bad preamp broken converter pink noise. And then I added again something more. Uh, th there's, there's this kind of pink noise plus city background with some birds, even in the very far. And yeah, so these are the files. Mm, let's listen to the raw noisy recording, first one. This is the test recording for my denoisers battle. We're testing Isotope RX Dialog Denoiser, mm, C Suite C Vox by Universal Audio and Cedar Audio, a great, great algorithm, and Waves new Clarity VX Pro plugin. Let's do it. 
As you can see, this is really, really bad. Normally, I'm using CVox to do this, but I want to start actually with uh, this one, with Clarity Mono, because this is a battle, but this is the review and kind of a first look at this plugin. So this is the interface of this, and I can switch between ambience and voice, and I have some neural networks, so this is kind of an algorithm, I suppose. Probably this is something to display some stuff. FFT, uh, neural network. Anyway, advanced controls. Aha, so this is multiband. Wow, this is nice. Anyway, mm, let's try what it does. This is the test recording for my Denoisers battle. We're testing Isotope RX Dialog Denoiser, mm, C Suite C Vox by Universal Audio and Cedar Audio, a great, great algorithm, and Waves New Clarity. What? You're joking! Okay, probably this is just the very beginning of this test. Um, probably I will have to say sorry to Waves and consider seriously buying this. I'm using the noises a lot. As you know, I also do lots of film posts and that's gonna be an amazing addition to my library of, of restoration tools. Let's tweak it more. This is the test recording for the Noisers battle. We're testing. It works also the opposite way, so I can recover the ambience and remove the voice, which is wow. Okay, of course it's artifact uh, artifacting a lot, but still. This is the test recording for my Denoisers battle. We're testing Isotope RX Dialog Denoiser, mm, C Suite C Vox by Universal Audio and Cedar. This is the test recording for my Denoisers battle. We're testing uh, solo bypass on off. This is the test recording for my Denoisers battle. We're testing Isotope RX Dialog Denoiser, mm, C Suite C. So here's this fader, it's not really visible, but I can adjust the amount of denoising per band. And I have four very, very well visible, well created visually feedback on everything that's happening. This is the test recording for my Denoisers battle. Yeah, that's simple, but you know what? I don't really have to touch it. I mean, I, I can use the advanced controls, but the way it works just like out of the pocket, out of the box. This is the test recording for my denoiser. It's perfect. And guys, I know that it's just fine. I, ju I just tweaked the, the main knob and I'm there. So now I'm gonna do the RX thing. So we'll compare the results maybe and adaptive mode, which is kind of a basic one, but let's push it harder, so let's learn the noise and then see what happens. This is the test recording for my... Okay, there we are. This is the test recording for my denoisers. Yeah, the problem with RX is that it doesn't have any gain compensation, so it's a lot more quiet, so I have to compensate here. This is the test recording for my Denoisers battle. We're testing Isotope RX Dialog Denoiser, mm, C Suite C Vox by Universal Audio and Cedar Audio, a great, great algorithm, and Waves New Clarity VX Pro plugin. And that's it. That's all that Voice Denoise by RX can do. That's really it. And yes it does lose this competition. So, you know what, I'm gonna give them another shot. Uh, there is spectral denoise, which should be more complex and should do better.
This is the password from the user's battle. We're testing files in the user. Mm. CCC box by user's volume and sealer. Hold on, wait, wait, algorithm. And place new... This is the test recording for my denoiser's battle. We're testing isotope RX dialog denoiser. No, that didn't help. Um, I never was a fan of uh, RX9 particular voice or spectral denoiser, but I can really compare this and, and I didn't know it performs that bad when compared to this wave's thing. And last but not least, my favorite tool so far, which is C-Suite CVOX by Universal Audio, backed by Cedar Audio, the giants of denoising, I would say. If you don't know them, check them out. They're worth it. And anyway, also this plugin is very simple. I can denoise or, or I can de-reverberate, so I'm gonna stick to denoise and I'm just gonna tweak attenuate. This is the test recording for my denoisers battle. We're testing Isotope RX Dialog denoiser, mm, C Suite C Vox by Universal Audio and Cedar Audio, a great, great algorithm, and Waves new Clarity VX Pro plugin. Let's do it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, and now we're gonna compare the results. I'm gonna split files into some sections so that can, we can listen to each uh, result separately and now maybe a little bit denser. So we're gonna have even more stuff to compare. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, can't actually wait to hear the results. Whew. Let's get it on. This is the test recording for my denoisers battle. We're testing Isotope RX Dialog denoiser, mm, C-Suite C-Vox by Universal Audio and Cedar Audio, a great, great algorithm, and Waves new Clarity VX Pro plugin. Again, this is the test recording for my denoisers battle. We're testing Isotope RX Dialog denoiser, mm, C Suite C Vox by Universal Audio and Cedar Audio, a great, great algorithm, and Waves new Clarity VX Pro plugin. Let's do it. Um. Cvox and Clarity are really very close. They come really, really close. And well, there's a thing called DNS1 by Cedar Audio. It's also multiband. It's got amazing algorithm. But you know, it costs, yeah, it's $2,200 for a multiband and a single band denoising machine. Waves price? Yeah, it's every always twenty nine dollars. It's on sale. Has this ever been on a regular price, guys? For a minute. And there's Clarity VX Pro. Yeah, heavily discounted, two hundred forty nine. It's almost ten times cheaper. Anyway, there's one more test. Um, I've got a file that's gonna be even more difficult. Uh, for the for the for the denoisers to work and it goes like this this is the test recording for my denoisers battle we're testing isotope rx dialog denoiser mm, c suite c vox by universal audio and cedar audio a great great algorithm and waves new clarity vx pro plugin let's do it yeah, so um, pink preamp noise plus some buses, some birds in the distance, some some city city noise. Mm, yeah, and well, um, I should somehow exclude RX9 from this, but you know what? I'll, I'll I'll give them one more shot. And here comes our new possible champ. This is the test recording for my denoisers pedal. We're testing Isotope RX Dialog denoiser, mm, C Suite C Vox by Universal Audio and Cedar Audio, a great, great algorithm, 
and Waves Nuke. Let's see Broad 2 starting from zero. This is the test recording for my Denoisers pedal. We're testing Isotope RX dial-up. Denoiser, mm, C-Suite, C-Vox by Universal Audio. And yeah, it is even more efficient, this Broad 2. Yeah, there's, there's a better for maintaining voice high frequencies and Broad 2 is better for severe ambience, keeps mostly main voices. So the second one should be a little bit stronger, but it's artifacting more, but still this one. This is the test recording for my Denoisers pedal. We're testing Isotope RX dial-up. And one more thing, the gain compensation of this is perfect. I mean, it's the same level, the same loudness of speech, absolutely the same. So this is amazing. and. Mm, this is just a formality, guys. I'm gonna split the file again. Go! This is the test recording for my Denoisers pedal. We're testing Isotope RX dial up. Denoiser, C Suite, C Vox by Universal Audio and Cedar Audio, a great, great algorithm. And Waves New Clarity VX Pro plugin. Let's do it. So, I mean, um, yeah, this, this is one of the, the very, very rare historical moments. This is the new level and this is a game changer of denoising. Everybody has to be like this right now and Waves nailed it. But before we gonna sum the things up, this is the test recording for my Denoisers pedal. We're testing Isotope RX dial-up. Denoiser, C-Suite, C-Vox by Universal Audio and Cedar Audio, a great, great algorithm. And Waves new Clarity VX Pro plugin. Let's do it. Guys, let's sum the things up. I asked in the very beginning, should I say sorry to Waves? And you know what? Yes, I should. Sorry, Waves, that I disrespected you. Because one of my, my reasons that I ditched you was that your algorithms seemed kind of clunky, old and inefficient to me. Because some of them are like that and I don't like them. But I wasn't really aware that you're capable of delivering something like this through your machine, neural, whatever, learning, computing. And, <clears throat> and well, yes, I am going to get this waste product. I mean, the financial situation of the studio and blah, blah, blah. But if you're a filmmaker and you do, do the film sound post, if you're a vlogger, if you're recording, editing voices recorded in any noisy environment, this is a must. It's a new, it sets absolutely a new level of things. Go and get it because I will, I, I have to get it. And yes, again, sorry waves. And this is the product I am going to buy. And I'm shocked, I'm thrilled, and somehow I'm always also pleased when proved wrong. Maybe this, this is weird, but I still learn new things and discover new things that way. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Have a nice day, evening, morning, and I'll see you very soon. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the vid. Let's discuss in the comments. Bye-bye.